she tried stealing an old woman's car keys. This Florida woman instead upped her game by stealing a deputy's patrol car. She led officials on a high-speed chase that proved to be deadly. It gets so fast, she just got in my car took off. Eastbound on Highway 40 passing the substation. And this wasn't her first tangle with the law either. This is her criminal history. This is it. Criminal history. Zach. On February 1st, Marion County Sheriff's deputies responded to an emergency call in a Winn-Dixie parking lot. They got reports of a woman who had attempted to steal another woman's car keys. Body camera video shows a deputy respond to the scene to confront the woman, later identified as Kendra Boone. I'll go right to the back. Video shows the deputy ask Boone to come to the back of the squad, but instead she climbs in through the passenger side window. No. Finally, the deputy is able to open the driver's side door, but Boone takes off a split second later. Stop! 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 Seconds after that, another squad is on her tail as the chase begins. It gets so fast, she just got in my car and took off. Eastbound on Highway 40 passing the substation. Boone led first responders on a high-speed chase that ended with her colliding into a pickup truck. She died and so did two others who were inside that truck. A third person was taken to the hospital in critical condition. In a press conference releasing the body camera recording, Marion County Sheriff Billy Woods straight up calls Boone a moron. During that incident after he arrived, a moron decided to steal his patrol vehicle which ultimately ended up resulting in us chasing him. And then in a tragic accident where two individuals were killed because of that moron. That's not the last time Woods gets feisty. He gets tense when a reporter asks about department policy. Sheriff, what is the, the department's policy on the cars running or not running when, when your deputy leaves the vehicle? Because it seems like the car was running and she had access to drive away in it. I have a feeling y'all going to push my buttons. That means sh Okay? That doesn't play a factor in anything. This moron stole a police vehicle and killed two human beings. What my policies are, what the procedures are, mean nothing. Boone's rap sheet included 13 felony charges, nine misdemeanors, and two convictions. She even had a past charge in Marion County. Fleeing and eluding. Oh, that's a shock. I'm almost 60 years old. I can't be doing this. In Flagler County, Florida, a man in a Grateful Dead t-shirt rushes at a couple with a knife in hand. The stabbing caught on security camera footage. Keep your eyes on the right side of your screen. That's Eric Galdabini, the man who told a sheriff's deputy he was too old for this. Well, as security cam video shows us, it was Galdabini who rushed toward a couple who were walking through a neighborhood. Video shows Galdabini approach the man and square him up. We've stopped the video here before things get too physical, but sheriff's deputies report Galdabini slashed the victim several times. After that, he got in his Jeep and drove off. This body camera recording shows what happened when officials caught up with him. What, what's going on? I was driving by, I see this girl walking, I said, hey, you right? She said something stupid. Her boyfriend cut to me. I said, that's him right there. He started talking. I said, pull up, what's up? I walked up on him, he started swinging on me. He had me on the ground, literally, I was, he was on top of me, beating on me. I had to pull my little shit, tried to slice, so I'm just getting off me. If Galdabini's story is hard to follow, that's because it doesn't quite match up with the security footage we showed you earlier. According to the Flagler County Sheriff's Office, Galdabini was driving around in a neighborhood and saw a couple walking. He approached the woman multiple times, asking her to get into his car, and this part he does admit to. Let me get this straight. So why were you, why were you in that area in the first place? I live here. I drive all the way. Okay, so you live over there. Yeah, I live okay. in three houses. And you, don't, you don't know this girl from Adam? I don't Adam. know anybody. You've never seen her before? No, 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 I've never seen any people. So why did you 
offer her a ride? I was just giving her a ride. I do that. I need a ride to the store or something. I'm going that way. Did, was she in distress? Did she look to you to help? She's just walking. No. I think she's she just, walk, okay. she was walking by. I was just saying she wanted a ride. I do so, that. Pick people up and give them a ride. Okay. But here's where the story differs. Officials say Galdabini parked his Jeep and rushed toward the couple, confronting the man and stabbing him several times. But according to Galdabini, it was the man who attacked him. I was just where, where is that at now? Couple streets back up that way, but the no, neighbors no. seen he came out, seen the guy on top of me beating him. I couldn't, I couldn't, I mean, I couldn't get him off me. Okay, what, what, <laughs> the knife is a couple streets down. No, it's in there. It's in the, okay, the knife's just, in there. It's just a little thing, it's a little like thing a little, I use for work fishing. Like a pocket stuff. knife or like a big, yeah, big just slate? A pocket knife. I use it for fishing and stuff. Who, who is she to you? Nobody. You don't know her? I don't know these people. I was driving by her and said, You need a ride, ask her for a ride because she's walking down the street. The dude was behind her, in front of her. I was saying, you know, I need a ride somewhere, I'm going out way to the she said something stupid. He said something. I came back and asked him what. And he just jumped on me. Look, he's on me. I mean, he had literally on the ground. He's a young kid. Galdabini's inconsistent story continues. Were you on foot? I went back. No, I, I went back, turned, parked, because they were talking shit to me. I was like, going to find out what's going on. I was trying to stop it, instigate it. And he started pounding on me. Okay, okay. <laughs> I lost, so, my, so you, I lost so you, my scripts and everything. So that's why I'm squinting right now. I can't really see. Okay, so you, so you, drove, so you, drove, you drove past them. And then you. Oh, I drove. She was walking like 30 feet behind him. Just walking. Like, okay, so they, they were walking on the street. They weren't in the driveway. They were walking down this way. I was going this way. I turned back around. She said something. I thought she wanted to ride or something. So I stopped. And you started freaking I didn't know they were together. Okay. You started freaking so, out. So you drove past and then you backed up. No, I just turned on. Okay, so you drove you drove past them and you turned back around. Yeah. And then you re engaged with them. Yeah, I didn't, okay. well, I was well, Were hurt. you on foot at that point, or were you in well, the I vehicle? got out and walked up to him. I was like, what's going on? And he started swinging on me, man. Galdabini says he was the one who was attacked. Yeah, because he thought I was with his girlfriend. I said, I didn't know your girlfriend. I'm sorry, I'll leave. And I couldn't get him off me. I'm on the ground, literally on my how did When you approached her or him, like, how, were, how did you do it? Like, were you running? Were you no, speed I walked, walking? Parked, I walked up to him. He said, walked up right up to yeah. me, man. I was like, well, I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. I, you know, I didn't try to start no anybody. I was going to the store back. That's all I was trying to do. Nah, where, where are you hurt at? I'm not really hurt. I'm still beat up. I just can't see. I wish I could go back and get my glasses, man. He says he's a good guy. Man, I'm a good guy. I work every day, man. I work my ass so. Before admitting the knife was in his car. Where's the knife at in there? It's in a, it's in a garbage and thing. That's a, it's he then gives better directions for the deputy to find the weapon. You're gonna take me to jail? No, you're just detained right now. Oh, we have to figure out what's going on. We have someone over there. Yeah, I don't want to follow these people. If I could talk to her or him, I'd just squash it right now. Cause I'm cool with everybody. I'm almost 60 years old. I can't be doing this. Put your freedom, please. <laughs> All right. Can I get the knife out of your car so I can look oh, at it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, okay. please. Uh, please let me call my girl, man. My wallet. Okay. I got money in my wallet. I'm, where, where? I just want to grab the knife right now. Where is it at? It's in the garbage bag in the under. Where the shifter is, yeah. the garbage bag's hanging from it, it's in there. Okay. This time, Galdabini was telling the truth, and the knife is recovered from his Jeep. Because of this security camera video showing what really happened, Galdabini was later charged with aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. Listen, working here covering the body cams that we do, we know how crazy and unpredictable life can get. That's why when things go wrong, like a work injury, car accident, or even social security disability issue, you need a champion in your corner. Enter Pomni Hockey Giordano, the powerhouse legal team known for turning the tables in your favor. And they're not just lawyers either. They're relentless advocates fighting tooth and nail for your rights, and they make sure that after an accident, you never have to recover alone. Their track record alone speaks volumes. They've secured more than $1 billion for more than 100,000 injured and disabled clients. When you hire Pondley Hockey, you're not just being represented by a single attorney either. Actually, you're getting access to the entire team with more than 250 years of combined courtroom experience. You can't ask for much more than that. So if you're ever injured at work, you can go to www 
pondleyhockey.com slash lcbodycam or pick up the phone and call them at 833-669-4043. All right, let's get back to the video. Let's go. Put your let's go. Get your hand off of me now. Put your hands off. Get your hand off of me now. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. In Glynn County, Georgia, a man with mental health issues is slammed to the ground by a police officer. His arrest is captured on body cam. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Now. Come and no. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. It happened on February 1st when police say the man was standing too close to the roadway. Body camera video shows an officer approach him and ask him to step onto the sidewalk. Stay on the sidewalk up here so we're not in the road. No, 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 no. But pretty quickly things get tense when the man doesn't cooperate right away. Stop, stop, stop. Don't, 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 roll, on. don't roll up on me. Don't put your hands on me. Back up on the sidewalk so we can talk. Back up. Stop. Hold on, hold on now. Stop. Disrespect. Stop. Now. If you decide to fight Come me, up. if you decide to fight me, my dog's coming out. Let's go. Let's go. Up on the sidewalk. Let's go. You're disrespecting me now. I'm back. You're disrespecting me now. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Oh, you pulling my chain off? I'm telling you. You trying to pull my chain off? I'm telling you. You trying to pull my chain off? Up next, the officer attempts to restrain the man, slamming him to the ground. Let's go. Put your hands Let's go. Get your hand off of me now. Put your hands off. Get your hand off of me now. Did you copy that? Turn around, put your hands behind your back. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. After that, a tussle is caught on cam. Uh, Stop. Stop. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. What's your problem? No, no, no. Hold up. My pants. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Now. Soon, the officer brings out a taser and shoots it at the suspect. Back. Now. Come and no. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. He did not see my pants. Put your hands behind your back. Stop. Stop. Do what the man says. Do what the man says. Just do what the man says. Just put my pants. Just put my pants. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. The recording continues on with the man still on the ground. Hold him up there. Hold him. Don't stay right there. Keep him right there. Front right. Got these pros and bleeding. Before they go, will you grab their names, please? Because they help me. You know y'all. No, it's gonna happen. Oh, uh, 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 oh, you. What's your name? Officer Mumps. Who? Officer Mumps. You got anything? Any weapons or anything? Right elbow is bleeding. My leg is bleeding. Man, he's slamming me. All right, hang tight, man. You see my toe? Stop, man. Stop, stop, stop. Don't try and grab him. That's how you ended up down here in the first place, because you grabbed me. me yeah. Soon, officers on the scene lift up the suspect and move him into the back of a squad car. Bring your foot around. Bring your foot around. Yeah, what's on that? Or you want to try to roll him up? Yeah, we can try to roll him up. Try to roll him out of sight and roll him Yeah, roll him up. Ah! Yeah, let's go. Let's go. He's gonna have to go in your car, okay? Right. Obviously, can't put him in mine. Okay. All right, go come on, hospital. let's go. We're gonna go that car back yep, you're gonna be going up to the hospital one way or another. Let's go. Hold the f go. On, let's go. Hold the f up. Let's go. Hey, shoot one of these crackers when you're supposed to. Shoot one of them in that f mouth. Let's go. I don't do the all f duty. Nah. You got some good ones. I think these are some good ones. I really do think they good. I told my toe, my toe, man. The suspect's mother eventually arrived on the scene and told investigators he suffers from severe mental illness. Even still, he faces a felony charge of obstruction or hindering a law enforcement officer.
Reporting for Long Crime, I'm Sierra Gillespie.